Sorry, y'all. That's my wife. Um, first of all, I'd like to commend uh, Ole Miss for a great team. What a, what a very quality team. Uh, Coach Reese has done a great job. Um, they, uh, they run into a team that's improving and believes they can. They uh, find finds ways to win. Uh, pretty special. I, uh, before I go any further, I need to kind of say thanks to all those people that have uh, found it in their time to, to wish me uh, well and you know, condolences <coughs> from my mom. And I uh, uh, had a rough night last night and uh, I, uh, I did have to tell the team. And so I told the team prior to the game that my, uh, my mom had passed away and uh, that was last night about 10 o'clock. And uh, you know, the concern that I had would be that uh, you know, condolences and a, uh, an outpouring of emotion and a caring for one another could be not exactly what you want to go play a very violent, very physical, very competitive game. And so I, uh, I spent time today thinking about the way that I need to tell them that uh, that when they say me on the sideline, it has not to do with who's passed and what's going on. It's, it has only to do that I'm looking for every opportunity and advantage for us to win. And you need to see me as an aggressive man. And uh, uh, I, uh, so after the game, I uh, can't tell you the number of young men that threw their arms around me and said that uh, they love me, coach. Which as touching as anything like that. And uh, they hand me the game ball, which I only accept uh, on behalf of a great team. A team that really comes out and says, you know, we can be a whole lot better. We can improve. And they go to work. And you guys hear me say this, and going to improve their comment. It's, it's just going to, we're, we're going to be special. This is a team that is ambitious, and uh, so I accept it. And, uh, and Martha Miles, this is a, uh, it's a great night to consider. I uh, miss you now. Now, um, it, uh, it took a great defensive effort. The, uh, if you think about a very vaunted, uh, very capable <coughs> offense that, uh, that Ole Miss has, and how well we played, and if you look at how we controlled the ball on the ground, uh, Anthony balanced uh, in, in, in the work situation, so it certainly uh, was not perfect, but and frankly, gave us every opportunity to victory. And uh, number four net with uh, 100 yards, it appears. And <coughs> Terrence McGee got a little nick. And, 75 yards. Kenny Hilliard came in the back end of the game fresh and picked up 64 very, very difficult runs. And uh, uh, Anthony Jennings, 8 for 16, 142. That was a great game, wasn't it? Huh? <laughs> so, um, one thing about these Tigers, when you put them in Tiger Stadium, it gives a little bit of time to fix things. It's going to be very special. This team wanted to make this night special, and they did. So, questions? Talk about, can you talk about the luxury of having three running backs that can turn the game at any time and, and you just pick up where the other one left Well, you know, obviously, the team was hot early, and, <coughs> and seven came in and, and just ran very physical and made big plays. Um, and then Kenny Hilliard on the back end of the game just said, no. The, the ran through some arm tackles, was was not going to be denied, was going to pick up the first down. And, uh, I don't, you know, some we would have got to Daryl Williams, he would have done the same thing, so, you know. Uh, Cam Cameron called a great game. He, uh, you know, really you know, has, a, has a knack for the, for the right play. Uh, Chief, <laughs> Chief was great. Uh, made, made real, yeah, real adjustments and we got stops and defense played great and special teams except for a punt returner that we, we could not get him right, darn it. Uh, 
He'll get it right though, because he's getting better, and like we all are. So. Anybody else? Coach, Coach was, that a, was that as good a drive as you've ever been around in football, considering the circumstances? You might have thought that was a <coughs> middle 1970s drive. Didn't you? How many runs did he have in a row? A lot, right? Um, it was physical. It was pounding. Um, really good calls. Physical offensive line, you know, coming after them and, and being tenacious. I want you to know something. Those five guys up front are getting better. Coach Miles, Logan Stokes, his first catch at LSU. Uh, I mean, big, biggest stage possible there. Now I guess everybody knows who he is, but before tonight, he you, you know, wasn't really used a lot. Secret weapon. <laughs> there you go. Don't tell anybody. You certainly will not notice. Um, um, or, uh, he's going to catch 12 balls next time. No. Um, Logan Stokes, it's, it's all part of the, the uh, all part of the overall scheme, and Cam makes a great call. And there it is. Coach, what, is um, the, the what do you think we've improved most? Yeah, I'd say defensively. Defensively, if you don't specifically, yeah. I think when the offensive line and the defensive line go against each other and they they talk about gap integrity and they talk about not being pushed and, and, and you know making sure that you did the things technically that you're capable of. Um, I think that offensively we improved and defensively we improved. So I think that that's probably the big men on both sides of the ball. What do you think of the crowd tonight? For everybody with the storm in the field tonight, what do you think about that? <coughs> The storming in the field tonight, I don't know, I had three big policemen that got me through the crowd. I want you to know something. I can't imagine. How did you guys get there? How did you guys get there? Took a while. I think, I, I bet you, you know, I thought it was um, That's smart. quite a crowd. So, uh, we, uh, I tried to go sing because I'm going to tell you, I kind of enjoy that, you know, but uh, <laughs> it was too many people in the way. So. Coach, can you talk about the first quarter? It seemed like snake bit, voodoo, whatever, that everything was going wrong, and to overcome that uh, oh, move I, on. I think there were four uh, picks that we couldn't put our hands on and did not come up with. I think there was, uh, you know, two fumbles and two picks that we, that we gave them. Um, I think that, you know, we can clean up some of that stuff. And, uh, inadvertent whistle, too. You've been first in goal. Inadvertent whistles. So Stink boy. The, you're looking at a chance to be down in the two yard line and score the first <laughs> seven to start the game, to get the pressure on an opponent. And, uh, yeah, it's an inadvertent <laughs> call I made there. I, I, I get that one back. I want to go <laughs> think about that. If I make a, if I get a pick, I could call inter, inter, inadvertent call. What do you mean inadvertent call? I didn't mean that call. I get it back. <laughs> what do you think? You guys support that, wouldn't you? Uh -huh. They'd have a red handkerchief for checking, for, for you know, finding out what they, you know, you know, challenging, and then you get a, uh, a uh, kind of a polka dotted one, you know, an inadvertent call. I want that. So I made a mistake. Coach, I know you're talking about how the defense improved playing against number one offense, but what did you do in the second half? Because outside of, I think, the first full miss drive in the second half, it was absolutely stifling defense. The, uh, I, th I think the, the pressure uh, on the opponent, certainly the front four, um, always around the ball. Can't tell you the number of balls that we knocked down. You know that's nerve-wracking to, to a quarterback, and I think it's, a, it, it's it doesn't allow them the ability to just have easy plays. And when you do that, you know that, that means that, you know every play is is under duress and, and, and being worked. Uh, no, I think that they could bet at defense success that they had based on those things. Wasn't that crowd beautiful? Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about that stadium, guys? That stadium's a whole different level now. I hate to tell you that. I mean, it's down on the floor. I'm going to have to tour that thing, you know. I'm going to have to get up back in. Open day. Open day. Coach, can you talk about how far this team has come? since the loss to Auburn, and what's been the difference in the Well, I, I think the, uh, you know, certainly 